So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 58 of our Master League as we continue uh, the start of the season. We've played two matches, we've won two matches, but Data Pack 4 certainly made it tougher, which is why I'm quite intrigued to see how today goes, because we are facing Bayern Munich. Okay, if you didn't see the last episode, we've got Bayern Munich, Paddy Sancho, man, and Anderlecht in the Champions League, which is... I mean, last season we had Real Madrid and uh, Inter and we managed to do all right. But I think this is going to be harder purely because of the data pack and the way things have sort of panned out. But we are going to have two matches today uh, and continue with two matches from now on. So James is fully recovered. All righty. Uh, negotiations with Aaron's. Apparently Burnley want to snap him up and some scouting results as well. Okay, well, let's quickly have a look. I mean, I'm not looking to sell anyone right now because our squad isn't exactly deep. We're just trying to have more quality than, like, depth right now. There is a few players here. Yeah, not worried about that. Uh, so let's just quickly see. So Aaron's, what are they saying? 12 million. We haven't renewed his contract. That's why they're saying uh, people are sniffing about. All right, well, we probably should start putting out contracts. I mean, ideally, this would be my last season at Everton. But, you know, we'll see how things pan out. You never really know. Anyway, for today, this is a look at Bayern Munich and ourselves. Now, I am going back rarely, rarely going back to a 4-5-1 today. <laughs> Purely because I don't want to get annihilated uh, by Bayern Munich coming forward. They've got pace of Costa, Gnabry. I mean, Werner's up there as well. They've got a decent bat line too. Davis is exceptionally quick. But we've got some pace as well. And Babu is very fast. 95-92. And then we've got Klosterman, who's also a 92-91. So having them two on the flanks, I'm hoping is going to give us the cover that we need. And yeah, that's going to be our back line. And Babu comes back into the mix. Mina, Tar, Klosterman. Strakosha is in there. Thank you to the guys that did recommend him. I know you, you mentioned it in the comments. So yeah, look like a good goalie. We'll try him out and we'll see how he does. Now, in the middle, I, I'm, I had to think about this one because Kamavinga's up for it. I think I'm going to change Kamavinga's role instead of an anchor man to something else because you already have Barrios as an anchor man. I don't need two of them, really. Um, but just for the sake of today, and what with Barrios being more of a DMF than Kamavinga, we're going to go for him and Allen. Allen's got the stamina. He'll work his socks off. We'll start David just behind Marlon. Um, Shallow's been playing actually relatively well the first two matches, but I'm going to rest him because he's got the super sub trait. Come on later. Can probably do something. Uh, Kulisevsky on the right, Villa's on the left. hudson Doy is going to start on the bench today just because Villa's, uh, you know, he's up for it. And Kulisevsky is Kulisevsky. And I like, uh, I like the lad. He's been playing well. So there we go. That's the lineups, folks. One thing that we are lacking now, though, not without Hammers today because Hammers isn't up for this match. Uh, but we are lacking that ability to have the, the team spirit boost uh, with the captaincy. So, yeah, we're going to have to sort that one out. And maybe we'll try and get a Champions League kit like last season. Uh, we'll try and get that done. Anyway, let's dive into it. First Champions League match at the Alliance Arena. Ooh, let's see how we get on. So here we are. There's that famous music. Oh, the excitement. The excitement of being back in the Champions League. If you guys remember last season, and you should, it was Bayern München that knocked us out in the what? Semi-finals? Was it the semi-finals now? I think it was. So, a bit of redemption. Now, it is the first game. If we don't get smashed, it would be nice. But we're going to go for it. You know, playing 4-5-1. Trying to bunker it in, you know, and not concede will be uh, the, the real test here. But anyway, let's dive into this one. We're not going to listen to the Champions League anthem because... You never know with the copyright stuff, but away we go. Let's see how things pan out. I mean, someone kept asking, or some of you asking about, like, uh, broadcast camera. And if I'd ever play with that. The problem with broadcast, guys, is I haven't learned to play on it in manual now. And me playing on broadcast will probably take an absolute age. Uh, and we start missing everything. The passive will go astray, and it would just be a complete disaster. As Douglas Costa has an early chance, but Mbabu... Oh! Absolute quality, son. Now a chance for us to bring this one forward. Look at David in the middle. There's some space for him. Going to take it forward, but the touch let him down there. Here is uh, Timo Werner. 
Mina comes across. Douglas Costa with a little touch. Now this is where Bayern Munich will be a threat when they start playing this intricate football. But it's a, a loose pass to Sebastian Villa. I'll tell you what, oh, Kulisevsky, you're on your bike there. Well, Manuel Neuer's come out. Oh, Manuel Neuer. Carefully done. Here is Kulisevsky, back towards Tar. See Bayern Munich closing down all the time. They're not going to give us the time of day here. We're going to have to move this as fast as we can. Allen. Sebastian Villa. And we are playing wing rotation as well, so we'll see if that helps out. Barrios. Kulisevsky. Klosterman. Where are you going, Klosti? That's not quite what we had in mind. Now here comes uh, the German side. Douglas Costa up against Villa. Let's have Mbabu come across. Kick him in the leg and then run off and get a yellow. Well, come on, ref. <laughs> it's not worthy of a card. Surely he's just given him a little, just a little clip. And chance for uh, Alaba. Oh, he could be moving. He could be leaving, isn't he? Going to uh, Real Madrid or something in the in the summertime as the ball's fired in. Werner couldn't get there. Ball's cleared away. I mean, this is how it's going to be. We are going to be defensive. Please change to the right player. That would be a, a fantastic thing to do. Douglas Costa's made it look like a right plum. Klosterman gets it away. Back to Fabian Ruiz. Big deflection. All right. There you are. Lo lovely play, Kulisevsky. Now go on, Marlin. Feed him in. Lovely. Get that out wide. Chance for uh, Klosterman now to stretch the legs. Up against Davis. Back towards him. Flicks it over the top, looking for Kulisevsky, and it's a throw. Well, let's just get this in there. Let's just get this one in there, Marlins up. Oh, it struck the post. Blimey, could he have, could he have headed that any better? Inside of the post, 1-0. Marlin, oh, the guy is, I mean, he's scored three goals in his last two games. He's on form right now. What a let off for the German side. Well, let's head that one back there towards Drakoska. Get that one down, uh, and away we go once again. Sebastian Villa, Allen, lovely touch inside. Barrios, is he going to get there? He will. Now it's David. Give it on back to Barrios. Outside to Kulisevsky. Back flick to Klosterman. You see Bayern Munich, though. They're, they're staying forward. They're not afraid to, to keep players ahead of the game. Villa. I think having Mbabu and Villa today is a good little combination just because of the pace. Lovely play, Villa. How's the delivery, Villa? It's to the edge of the box. It's David. It's back towards Allen. Big deflection. Banios will pick it up. Allen and Babu. Space out wide here for Villa. Back inside, David. It's all patient play. Allen. Kulisevsky. Oh, lovely play here. Klosterman back towards Marlon, and that will do. Hey. <laughs> Is that an own goal? I don't know what that's classed as. No, Marlon's on the score sheet. He's done it again, folks. Well, it's nice play right now. Bayern Munich, uh, they're, they're, they're letting us play football. You know, we're just stroking it around nicely. And this is beautiful play here by Klosterman. This is what he can do on the flank. Use his pace, cuts it back. It's a whopper of a deflection. I think it comes off Sula, the big German in the middle. But Marlon, right place, right time. This is why we snapped this guy up, because right now, he's he's worth a pretty penny. But this is ideally why we've gone for a 4-5-1, to stop them from abusing the flanks when they can. David, too much, too much dribbling there. But I'm sure we're going to see a spell from Bayern Munich at some point, where there will be a bit of a flourish. Davis, what's up, Alfie? Joining the freight. Thank you, Alfie. Come on, it's the worst possible time. To stick your tail in the face is Pavard. Kimish. Can't control cats, folks. They do what they want. Oh, lovely pass up the line. Looking for Werner there. Let's just get this one out. But what have we given there, Ref? Well, thank you. I was going to say, there's no way that you're giving them a penalty or, or a free kick for that. Yeah, we won the ball, and then it was a bit of a mix up. Gnabry says, I don't know. Mm. That's why we've kind of gone for the Alan Barrios combo. It's, uh, it's just a, it's something I think that works. Oh, you've got beaten too easily there. Mina went... <laughs> Why do they do those moves in this game? Just <laughs> How many defenders have you seen in real life ever pull off a scissor kick in your own six-yard box? It's hilarious and funny at the same time. 
even though that's the same thing. David, lovely touch. Well done. Oh, looking for Marlon. Couldn't find him. That's the thing now. We don't want to go into our shell. Here is Davis. We know he's got a lot of pace. Barrios comes across. Will he deliver? Feeds it on the edge of the box. Fabian Ruiz. Kimmich scoops it over the top. He's done brilliantly well. And what a save that is. I mean, some piece of goalkeeping. Back to Davis now. Fabian Ruiz once more. And this is all too easy from Bayern Munich. And we are crossing the uh, half an hour mark. Marlon wins the header. Well, I'll tell you what, Kulosevsky's going to get there first. We're going to lay it in, but there, there's really no point. Towards Marlon again, and Bayern Munich are, I don't know, really deep right now. Giving us the time of day. We've left a big hole at the back, though, for Werner to take that one down up against Mina. A oh, ref, ref, ref. Now, please don't concede like that. That's a free kick referee, and he couldn't give a monkeys. Unbelievable stuff. A let off, a let off, a let off. Oh, this is the pressure now that you're going to get from Bayern Munich. It's relentless, it's constant. I mean, the players don't feel very uh, uh, responsive right now. It's like trying to turn a tank with some of them. Gnabry. Davis. I also think as well, because I'm recording, I'm not going to get the same kind of reactions as I would on the PS5. Because on the PlayStation 5, I'm not recording any matches. I'm just playing the game. When you are recording, and I'm recording my face, I'm recording my audio and the gameplay at the same time. Obviously, it's going to take a toll on the computer. Could be a reason. Could be a reason. Anyway, well done, Villa. Come on, Villa. Keep going. Pavard manages to somehow keep that. I don't know how. Laid across. That's a lovely turn towards the back post. Well done, Strakosha. Now let's get this rolling as quickly. No, 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 no. Don't roll it. I hate when they do that. Just throw it in the air. Davis wins the header. Sula. I would buy Sula. I'll tell you that much. We go to another team. Fantastic defender. Bought him for Juventus and he was just phenomenal. The guy, I mean, the guy literally will win 95% of the headers. All day, every day. Anyway, we're 40 minutes in. All we've had really in this match is one sniff. Uh, and we've done enough to, to take the lead here. Barrios. But Bayern Munich are continuing to pressure. Fed across. Ruiz wasn't there. Douglas Costa, he wants to get it on the left foot. Because he hasn't got a right foot. Davis. Will he deliver it? Up against uh, Kulisevsky. Brilliant, Kulisevsky. That's what we want to see from you. Marlon. Oh, Kulisevsky, just keep going. Just keep going now. Little back flick there to Klosterman. All right, now let's try and maintain a little bit of possession here for the final few seconds of this half. Didn't last long, did it? Having said that, Allen's stolen it. Via. Allen. David, nicely worked. It's going to be Kulisevsky. Not a bad effort. Not a bad effort. Oh, well, I think we have to go for uh, the big man here. We go all the way back post. We look for Mina. And all he's going to do now, get up against Alaba. He should win the header there. Well, he hasn't somehow. Back to Allen. Via. Here we go. Skips past him. And he does skip past him. Still going, Via. Lovely run. And the finish was terrible. But there's half time. We lead narrowly, but Bayern Munich have had plenty of chances. Okay, so Bayern Munich have made a change, it looks like. Oh, we've bought on Robert Lewandowski. Although saying that, I bought Robert Lewandowski for Juventus, and he's been absolutely terrible for me. I mean, terrible. He's done nothing. Um, I'm probably going to sell him. But, you know, certain players, you just, I don't know, there's certain players you just don't, I don't like to play with them. Not quite sure why, but anyway, right now, uh, we're playing some decent stuff, and then that happens. Well, there's the possession for you, 57% for Bayern Munich. Now, we are going to be playing Barrios defensive. I'm not going to have him coming forward. We just need, right now, pack it in. We're leading 1-0. You don't do anything silly when you're leading 1-0 against the likes of Bayern Munich. Now, here is Gnabry, who's cut inside of Klosterman. They're far too easy. Fabian Ruiz has pulled the strings in the first half. Gets it back again. Fed out wide. Nice play this, Davis. So many players back. Kulisevsky, great challenge. No, 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 no. How on earth has that fallen back to David? I don't know. Ah, this is going to be a tough half here, defending. From Ruiz. Robert Lewandowski. Well done, Mina. Exceptionally well done, son. Now, Villa can bring this forward. 
We're not going to have tons of players up here, but we can certainly run with it because if you don't want to close us down, that's what we'll do. Kulisevsky. I don't know who that was to. It was a bit of a shocker there, wasn't it? And there's the ball, and there's the problem we have. Timo Werner up against Dracosha. Well done, son. Well done. Quality goalkeeping. So another change for Bayern Munich, and Sané is coming on. All right, we're going to make a change as well. Uh, David, give him a rest and bring on Shalov Marlon. Marlon, stick him on the flank. Just kind of keep possession and, and work it round when we can. Alan, Marlon, back to Mbappé. Back inside towards Alan. Kulisevsky wants it. Bit of good feet, and that's a, that's a sloppy challenge there. I mean, we'll take this. This is an opportunity to smash one home. That's a bit of... Uh, a bit careless from Sula, an experienced defender like himself. Just, I think they got sick of it. Um, I mean, he just came in here and, and, and he got the ball, but he had to go through the man and get the ball. Well, this is going to be the man to take this. Kulosevsky is about a 79 rated. I mean, it's not the tallest wall. You've got Douglas Costa there as well. Robert Lewandowski is the player that we're going to try and get this ball up and down over, but it's come right off his face. Comes back towards him. Babu, good save by Anoya, but. Oh, he palmed it just about away. Let's quickly get this throw going. And try and grab a second hit. Klosterman. Back inside. Allen. Feeds it across. Shalov. Nah, 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 nah. That's not the ball there. We're getting a little bit of momentum here. A little bit of composure. Barrios. Ta. Klosterman there. Uh, I don't know. I'm quite liking Klosterman. I don't know why I said that said that and give it away we quite like Klosterman playing as a, a right back he's versatile you know he can play there right, Mina all the way back to Strakosha who's made some big saves today lovely pass to Marlon get this one down Marlon again back inside to Allen. Kulisevsky wants it now Kulisevsky just playing in that hole he's enjoying himself ref is that a foul no Fabian Ruiz won the ball Sané Looking for Timo Werner. Up against Tarr. He's turned you inside out too easily. Sané. That's brilliant, Klosterman. Brilliant, son. This is what you need. The boys up for today. You need the performance. Barrios. Oh, it was a chance there. Shalov, if you weren't fondling yourself, you never know. It could have been in. Klosterman again. Different class. Final 15 minutes here. Sané. Oh, this is where Bayern Munich can be dangerous. Werner, he's just trying to hit this. Back to Fabian Ruiz. Kimmich. This is where you've got to hold the line. You've got to hold the line. Sané dinks it over the top. Mina gets it away. Lovely header. Now we can break quickly. Ma uh, Marlon. Shalov. Tell you what, Kulisevsky, if you go away, you're in, son. And Marlon's got the legs, but uh, Alaba's also relatively quick. So we're going to start this again with Mbabu. Take your time. Well done, Alan. Na, 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 Alan. That's not what I wanted you to do, son. Sloppy place to give it away. Werner. Douglas Costa up against Mbabu. Mbabu's looking tired at this point. Costa tries to fire it in, and that is fantastically done. And away we go once more. I mean, we'll probably bring a change now. We could bring on the likes of Kamavinga. Although Kulisevsky. Ooh, they've lost it in a dangerous... Oh, Shally was nearly in. Werner, sloppy pass by him. Sebastian Villa. Allen, nicely worked. And Klosterman now can bring this forward. All right, Villa, you just keep going, son. Just keep going. Mm, yep, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Who's near post? There it is. Oh, that's the wrong ball. As uh, looks like, I don't know what happened there. I think Loki's just fallen off. <laughs> I'm meant to be dog sick in a uh, dog city. Oh, no, no, no. Sané! Oh, he's missed the target, but... <laughs> I'm dog-sitting. Loki's sitting right here, and he just fell off the windowsill. Um, put me off. Well, luckily, Sané's missed it on his weaker foot. <sighs> what a let-off. So, the final two changes, uh, they're late, but hudson Adoy and uh, Kamavinga coming on. Sula. Oh, that's nearly a shaky ball, wasn't it? We are into the final four minutes. Let's go a little bit more defensive now. Just to make sure we can try and shut up shop here. It will be a, a fantastic start to the Champions League campaign. 
if we can hold on Hudson Adoy Shalov nicely done look at the space out wide here for Villa who's picked up a lot of room has he got the legs Sebastian oh he's done brilliantly well oh, just couldn't bend it into the far corner but we made the defender like a right plum with a nice little cutback as Sané's lost out on his uh, on his pass there Shalov lovely play to pass uh, Sané but then gets dispossessed he's got uh, two minutes to stop his time here Kimmich Pavard Fabian Ruiz by Munich have got to get it forward it's not the start that they were looking for Villa still on the charge well referees just blow the whistle by Munich are, are messing around with it Sané lays it up the line Klosterman's there and that will do that will do what a start what a start to our Champions League campaign Bayern Munich had chances we had chances it was a relatively even match but on the balance of play I think we'll take that of course and there it is six attempts to 11 I don't even think Bayern Munich really had an attempt on target in the second half yeah they had more possession but that only counts for so much a man of the match was the goal scorer Marlon so elsewhere, Paddy Sanchez did beat Anderlecht, uh, Barcelona won, Man City won, Tottenham beat Valencia, Inter drew, uh, Manchester United beat Dynamo Zagreb, Atletico Madrid won 4-2, Juventus winning, Chelsea winning, Benfica beat Olympiacos and Real Madrid beating Ajax. So it's still early, early days, let's not get carried away, but still a win is a win and uh, it's something to build on. All right, ladies and gents, so we are going to advance now to take on the Bournemouth. How are they doing after their opening two matches? They've lost both of them. Uh, three goals conceded yet to score. You know, it doesn't mean much. It uh, doesn't mean much. Anything could happen in Pez. Oh, come on now. Klosterman's picked up an injury. This is what we don't need. We don't need players getting injured. It's just going to make it extremely tough. But yeah, I think that 4-5-1 worked uh, against Bayern Munich. You know, for that match. I think we will go back to three at the back here. But yeah, good stuff. And uh, let's pick a team. All right, so we're going to go for this. Um, a few changes. Uh, this is the problem, though, because our squad isn't really that deep. We did sell a lot of players. You know, we did sell a lot of players. But, you know, this is a rarity. But when you got players like, I mean, literally, Villa's down, Shalov, and Calvert-Lewin, you know, we're, we're lacking up top but it's fine because Luigi's going to start today I think that's his first start of the season uh, Marlon is buzzing good because he should be uh, David is going to start today I was tempted him or Hammers. but look if we compare these two real quick right David is a 22 year old obviously a lot younger than Hammers. but if you kind of compare the stats David obviously exceptionally quick he's got better stamina he's got better balance a little bit stronger uh, but Hammers is a more flair player he's technically better with the ball control and the dribbling not by too much really only lofted pass is what's, what's giving him the, the bonus there um, and they both have quite a few different player skills you know they're very very similar players just David's a lot younger I want to play David because I need to grow him this season I want to see more from him so this is the lineup I think it's good enough and Babu will come in I'm going to play him Babu more even if I have to play him as a centre back because he can play there the guy is still very, very good. And who knows? He may even do some overlapping runs with these two, with Kulu and himself. But that's what we're going to go for. All right, folks, there is uh, Bournemouth playing a 4-5-1, a packing it in the middle. Uh, so we'll see. I'm not going to play any DMFs. I'm going to try it out and just play two centre mids with an AMF. Wing rotation as well. And, yeah, we're going to go back to the Premier League default scoreboard as well, folks. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be having that on show. Anyway, hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's see if we can get back-to-back -back wins and keep performing. And can Marlon do the business? Let's see. So here we are, folks, live at Goodison Park. But I believe this is the newer stadium, right? The one that they're kind of building for 23-24 season? I don't know exactly, but I think it looks nice. Nice concept, looks great. Uh, we've got a new graphics mod turf here just for this stadium. So, I mean, it's quite vibrant quite in your face but anyway I just want you know what I want I want the game to feel a little bit more responsive on my part uh, it's there is a difference I'm saying unless it's me recording comparing it on the PS5 which I've been playing pairs on and then on PC and PS5 it feels snappier it feels more responsive 
but on PC it doesn't, and I don't understand it. Anyway, away we go, because you can tell, you can tell when it's fast and snappy uh, and when it isn't. Could be because I'm recording, I've mentioned that, but I, I don't know why it would be, because I've been recording for years and years and years now. My computer should be used to this. Anyway, let's see what Camavinga can do today. Here is Alan. We'll give it back to him. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, Bournemouth's starting off half asleep here. And Babu. Alan. David. Oh, Alan was on there, wasn't it? He? he was on. Put up the line, Solanke. Finding Cook. Here is Kelly. Let's just back away ever so slightly. Put up the line. And Juma. He looks to find Stacy. Well, we are playing wing rotation again, so expect some movement down the flanks. Go on, Hudson Adoy, and that will, I was going to say that'll do, but you didn't quite get there. But David will certainly uh, bring this one forward. It's a tasty pass to Luigi, who's looked for the reverse ball, and it's an enticing ball to Hudson Adoy. Now he can stretch the legs. I mean, Marlon's calling for it, so let's whip that one in early and maybe could have waited a little bit longer or played that one quicker. David looking for Marlon, looking for Camavinga. Brilliant play, and that will do nicely. Camer, beautiful. That was a foul. Was a foul, folks. He just took this touch just right here, takes it away from the player, and got uh, annihilated. Right, well, we're going to let Luigi take this. We are going to let Luigi take it. You're probably thinking, why? What are you doing? I don't know. But we're going to try and see if the Italian has the ability to beat the wall and get it up and down. He can get it up, but he can't get it down. Oh, Kelly, get a foot in. I'm going to play David as counter-target right now. Let's get a little bit more players forward just because, you know, we, we, we should be pressing Bournemouth and ultimately create chance. Now, I'm also not playing aggressive this season. I normally play aggressive when I'm defending. I'm going to play more conservative just to be able to do that. That's brilliant, Camavinga. Marlon. Luigi. Come on, Luigi. What have you got? Good play by the Italian. He's still going here. <laughs> Feels like a tank when I'm trying to dribble with him, but you know, you've got to let Luigi uh, have a bit of free reigns every now and then. Take off the leash. Let him do what he can. One thing I have noticed with Data Pack 4 is they do like to ping it around at the back a lot. And sometimes it's possession without a purpose, and they just kind of do it over and over again. But I've also seen some decent moves as well. Solanke. Uh, what's happened there? Anyway, Mina's there. David. Luigi wants it. He might as well look for Marlon over the top. Does find him. Might as well hit that one. Oh, it was heading in the top corner. Marlon, I'm just going to hit it when I get the ball with him right now because he is on that type of form where the guy is performing. Stacy. Back to uh, Memphis. Starting again, 18 minutes gone here, and as we said, we'll let them play football, we'll let them possess. They're not really causing much of a threat. Now they're looking for a switch pass to, I don't know who on earth that's to, but Tar says thank you. All right, Camavinga, now let's just possess. Allen towards Mbabu. It's off to Kulisevsky. There's some space in there for Camavinga. Camavinga looks the part, he really does. So look at the space here for Luigi, who's able to turn. Oh! I don't know how close that was going, uh, uh, heading in, but look how look, look how deep Bournemouth are playing. They're going to play this deep line, feed it into the forwards all day. Nice little touch and finish. May have been heading over, but the goalie didn't know. Good save. I will say, I do love the nets. The nets look kind of cool. They've got that really uh, close together kind of... Uh, Hatching. Oh, it's Marlon's brilliant. Oh, Luigi was there. Oh, comes back to David. Swings it round to Hudson Adoy. Skips past the first challenge through the legs. And the referee <laughs> brings another foul. Another chance for Luigi, folks. A good play here by Hudson. Look at this. Pass one. And then he nutmegs the second and says, see you later. All right. Now, do we go for. I mean, the wall is very, very. Oh, look at that wall. Billing is the absolute monster in it. Let's see if we can do this. It's going to be the Italian. Um, of course, we've hit it straight. Oh, we are 28 minutes in here. We could go more attacking. You know what? I'm going to do that. Let's see how the lads play now and we push up a little bit more. 
It's gonna knock out. It's gonna knock the players out. I understand that, but we need to get that first goal, and then we can start chilling a little bit more. As the ball's just fizzed up the line, and Bournemouth are not looking too much of a threat. I mean, they're newly promoted, I believe. I don't think Bournemouth were in the league last season, so to be expected. Here is Stacey. Lerma. Cook. Towards uh, Stacey. Ball over the top is not a bad little ball at all. And Strakosha. What a legend in goal. He's proving, he's proving his worth right now, the keeper. Pulled off a big save against Bayern Munich and... This is just as big here. It really is. Look at that. Near post. I mean, yeah, just, yeah I guess it just hit him still. There's Cook as he finds Stacey. The final few seconds of the first half. I mean, Bournemouth have had an attempt. It was nothing miraculous, though, was it? And we've had possession. We just haven't created enough. Well, well done, Luigi. He's stolen that one. He's done brilliantly well, Alan. Flick it on, David, towards Marlon. Oh, Marlon was just about to tap it in. Back to Kulisevsky, and the keeper's pulled off a fantastic save. Ooh, one day, one day those long-range curlers are going to go in. But it was just a, a snap effort, just hit it. And, uh, yeah, the goalie's done enough. But we've got one final chance from the corner here. Oh, we've got enough, you know, tall players to surely win the header. Kulisevsky towards Tar. Back to hudson Adoy. Oh, the deflection and the save. And a flourish at the end of the first half. But it's still goalless. Come on, lads. Come on, we need a goal. Bekovic launches it away. Mina, great header. Luigi uh, gets a second go. Gets a third go. Gets a fourth go. hudson Adoy lays it across. Kulisevsky now. Allen for the Sevsky man he, he loves to cut in he's going to be playing on the wing but he is always around always lurking All right lads let's just keep this possession now that Bournemouth are sitting off a little bit it's lovely play it's Kamavinga here exceptional left foot oh he's hit the bar what a call it would have been ah I would like to say a big thanks to Ghost on, on Twitter who's been sorting all this stadium stuff out I mean check out the ad boards they look fantastic I also think we have, uh, I think it just came up with a 22-23 kit, which is a nice little touch there. So, thank you, Ghost. Appreciate all you've done for us. Getting uh, all these mods done for the pitches and the stadiums. Anyway, we should be winning this. We've had enough chances. Kamavinga is, is showing what he's made of, and I'm liking the look of this guy. We're just going to keep pressing high here. Tar all day. Luigi with an interesting touch. Lays it off. Luigi again, not the pass, Luigi. Kulisevsky's got the wrong side of his man. Ball up the line, but that's going to be all day for Mbabu. As we can swing this run round to Tar. The player switching just needs to be worked on. Because it, it, it annoys me. There's a lot of things that annoy me, as you guys know. But once again, Kamavinga, different class. Not the best pass, though, because we're trying to cut that inside. Stacy, Memphis. All the way around to Cook. I mean, we'll make some changes. We haven't really got the luxury of changing too many players up top today because of the players that we're missing. But this is better play here by Bournemouth. Chance for Kelly. Does need to deliver it. Tar oh, with a good, good clearance there. And well done, Allen. hudson Adoy, Luigi. Marlon flicks it off. Kulisevsky back to Marlon. Uh, just wanted a little bit more icing on the cake. And we're in. We've still got to be able to finish, though, and that's always the hard part. King flicks it back. I'm still concerned with Bournemouth because it only takes one chance. And suddenly they could score. All right, hudson Adoy now. There's plenty of space here. Luigi wants it because we just need to try and move this front to back quickly as we can. Marlon, lovely pass. It's going to be David! And it's 1-0. There it is, folks. A matter of time. Finally, we unlock the door. And now we just need to throw away the key and hopefully they won't be uh, you know, unlock it back and make it one all. Pick that out for an analogy. The great stuff. Starts from Hudson, launched it into Luigi. One touch, lays it off. First time pass, this touch here got him away and then it was all about the finish and it's a tidy one.
Right, we're going to take Luigi off. Uh, we're going to bring Holgate on. We're not changing the formation. All that's happening is Mbappé's going to go as a right, right mid, get up and down, uh, and Kulisevsky is going to push up top because he's uh, he's a threat anywhere. But well done, Luigi. Decent performance, mate. Put in a shift and uh, go take a nice cold bath. Stacy, back inside to Billing. Come on, Kamavinga. King, that's far too much room there. It's far too much room towards Stacy, and he's run straight into tie. You have a penalty for that. We are going to be having serious words. The boys, uh, the ball's launched up the line. Stacy against Hudson Adoy, and Hudson's done brilliantly well. Here is Marlon now. Hudson, just keep going. Go on, keep going. I'll feed you in, son. That doesn't want to move, does he? And Marlon has cheekily tangled his legs up with the player there, so uh, he's smartly done well. Allen. David. Lovely pass. Kulisevsky's there. Oh, unlucky. Fed through the middle. Lerma. Cook. King. I think we may have to go DMF here. May have to bring on Barrios just to cement the middle a little bit because I'm seeing too many holes uh, and gaps. Interesting move there, Hudson. In the middle. Oh, blimey. That's a shocker, isn't it? Ugh. All right, let's make that change. All right, we're going to take off Marlon. Uh, he didn't score today, unfortunately, so his, uh, you know, continual run of scoring has ended, but still did well, and uh, he got an assist, I believe. So there we go. Barrios comes on. We're going to play him defensive, shut up shop, uh, and just, you know, hold it. Yeah, the game certainly changed now. Slowed down a lot after that goal. Kind of happens, though. Danjuma in towards Cook. Ball up the line. That's comfortable. Here is Allen. Why are we doing this? I don't understand why the passing... It's just, it's just weird how suddenly we scored a goal and now everything feels like... You know, I'm playing at World War II. Banio's missed that one. Kamavinga, you've got turned far too easily. Don't let King do the business. Lerma, brilliant by Tar. All right, now this is the chance to grab another one. Kulisevsky wants it and he's going to find him now there's a lot of work to do but can Kulu do what he needs to do no he's too slow yeah he's a, he's a little bit knackered at this point well done Barrios uh, towards Mbabu could just hit the corner here or well, maybe not we'll just start all the way back again uh, with Holgate who finds uh, Mina five minutes left here Goodison Park Everton looking for their third consecutive win not with a ball like that though Bit of a shocker. Here's King. We've, uh, well done, Tar. Well done, Tar. One thing we need to make sure we don't do is concede. You know, if we don't concede, we've always got a chance to, to snag a win or snatch and grab something. But look how slow this feels now. I don't understand why this happens in the game. I know team spirit plays a factor, but that much of a factor that the team now feels like I'm playing with, you know, Barnet conference I mean look at that what's Kamavinga now doing suddenly he's gone from being solid to to being a moron that's why it's game handicap handicap disadvantage here's King Cook watch the ball up the line Kelly looks for King again up against Mina but Mina is a monster and Kamavinga floats that one out to David and there's the full time whistle oh, well David scored which is nice on the 66th minute as well so there we go job done it was a narrow win but we dominated we had chances and yeah, I don't think Bournemouth really showed up today eight attempts to three 46 to 54 percent on the possession man of the match was David so the other results Man United have lost 4-0 at Old Trafford against West Ham what has happened to Manchester United they've gone from winning the lead convincingly to now losing three on the bounce. Arsenal beat Huddersfield, Wolves beat Watford, Leicester beating Newcastle, Tottenham beat uh, no one because they drew against Crystal Palace, Leeds lost to Chelsea, Sheffield United nil, Southampton three, Brighton nil, Liverpool one, and Burnley smashing Manchester City. So we are currently second. It's only ourselves, Chelsea, Wolves and Arsenal have won all three matches. Leicester fifth. Bottom of the table is Man United right now. A disaster for them. Watford, Bournemouth and Brighton all yet to pick up a single point. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to return 
Uh, we're not really worried about this stuff because it's just international friendly. Time to decide your picks. Yeah, I'm not worried about my picks, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. Now, if it is a proper competition, then I would worry about it, but friendlies, you guys know, we aren't bothered at all. Uh, Strakosha is topping expectations. Well done. A great honor for Shalov, and yeah, he has been He's been pulling the strings in goal, uh, Strakosha. Just needs to keep playing well. I mean, I will want to play Olsen as well at times. I think it will be a bit harsh if we don't play him. But it looks like we have something happening here. League opener, Chapter 3. And they are saying, you know, with our winning streak since the season opener, we've got all uh, the all-time record in our sights. Okay, th three matches. And you're talking about an all-time record. <laughs> No, no, let's let's not get too carried away here. Uh, because we're playing the easy matches. So we have got Huddersfield Town and Watford to come in the next episode, folks. Hope you guys did enjoy today's. Uh, it, it's looking better. Klosterman's still out for four days. But, yeah, I'm liking the look of some of these players. Look, Calvert-Lewin is up for it. Shallow's up for it. So there's some good, good news. Anyway, we'll return in episode 59 in the next one. But until next time, let me know your thoughts about it always. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.